Hi. Fuck me. Hey there. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. We're here on a beautiful Thursday in sunny, sunny South Florida, where I'm reminded constantly of my age. I just turned this way to turn on the air. Uh, beside me, there's a fan. It goes with living in South Florida. And uh, I, I, I threw out my rib. I threw out this area down here, which isn't a good sign, especially for my recently uh, departed 33-year-old butt. Because now I'm no longer 33. I'm now a 34-year-old man. Could you imagine seeing someone like me walk in front of you of my height, of my stature? You'd immediately assume that I'm a, I'm a child. I'm not a, I'm not a 34-year-old man. I don't pay taxes, which I just finished today, uh, nor bills, which again, I just finished today. It's never a good thing. It really isn't a good thing, uh, being this short and having to deal with adult problems. It's kind of kind of gay, I gotta say. It's kind of. This is the gayerhood, and you are not welcome. I added a new one, by the way. I did add a new one of those, so hopefully I'll be showing it at some point in this particular live stream. Welcome, though. Welcome. It's been a while. I wanted to do this yesterday, but unfortunately, I got caught up. I got caught up getting uh, a little bit drunk. It's never a good thing. Post birthday, post birthday, it's it's a. Uh, a dangerous habit when you end up saying, you know what, I'm just going to have a drink. Yeah, you have a drink and then it turns to two, then it turns to three. And then you're doing a chest day while drunk, which is never a good thing. Uh, you don't want to do exercise while you're drunk. You want to exercise while you're tipsy because it gets you a little bit more loosey. You'd be doing things that you wouldn't otherwise do at the gym. So you might actually look at those 50s and try to curl them. Uh, but that's beside the point. My birthday was on Sunday. I've mentioned this many times before. Uh, although because I'm turning into a, a diva, uh, I'm going to celebrate my birthday month. So the entirety of April, it's my birthday. So don't think that it's just limited. Uh. It's just limited till uh, past Sunday. No, no, I'm, I'm doing what all the basic bitches do, which is I'm celebrating it all month. Uh, speaking of basic bitches, we're going to talk about ran through hoes, or as the kids call them, bop. Bop is a new term. I don't know if you're familiar with this. A bop is a hoe. A bop is a slut. It's a slut. Uh, when I was a teacher, I do recall an instance where uh, I, I told the students that I had a thought, right? I had a thought in my head, and uh, they started giggling. And I went, what the fuck are you guys giggling about? They said, oh, a thought, Mr. Whatever, a thought. And then you don't know what a thought is? I said, uh, uh, I said no, I'm, I'm an old man. A thought is a hoe, that hoe over there. So they explained to me. And I've never felt older than in that instance. And uh, bop is the new term. So bop is uh, their new term for uh, slut. If you, of course, want to leave a voicemail... You could do so by leaving one in the link down below. Uh, you don't have to make an account. You could just do it uh, anonymously, which is always fun when people decide to drop uh, some N-words in there, uh, which I'm not a fan of, YouTube. Uh, ben Shapiro says, welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. That is true. You do get a warning every time you uh, join a live stream, which is kind of lame. It's kind of lame because it's policing on what should be... Uh, speech freedom of speech so within youtube's confines because i'm restricted to the platform you're living in a, in a communist commune uh which by the way is always a fun little thing to look at when you see communists on on uh, tiktok or twitter and um you know they talk about what their job would be in the commune and it's always oh i'd be the poet i'd be the poet i'd be the one that's there um writing a stories you know, writing the story of how we made this work. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You would be working in the coal mines. Uh, down to the coal mines. We're starting off strong. Um, he was the best guy around. What about the people he murdered? What it's murder? So That's, that makes me laugh every time I see it. Uh, Corn Pop says, hey, Piggy, I, I'm driving, so I can't comment, but I'll be listening. That's gay. You should be watching and driving. It makes you stronger. It makes you more attentive of a driver. Uh, Satchel says, uh, what joy to finally get a goddamn live stream. I've waited 24 hours. That's true. I'm sorry. I apologize. I got uh, lured by the allure of liquor. Um, I also don't like that. I'm leaving comments here. Uh, what's up, Mr. Cake says, free thinker. I hope you are, in fact, a free thinker. Uh, April Fool's, you're actually 36. I mean, if I was 36, I'd be... Um, boy, I don't know. I'd be... Uh, Probably hanging myself off of the ceiling fan. Uh, if you were the center of a ridiculous YouTube magic drama, what would it be about? Probably saying the N-word. Anyways, I guess let's just get right into this. I had my credit card stolen, which is very fucking annoying. 
because uh, Lord knows you have about a hundred different things that your credit card is signed up for. And uh, I don't know how. So I, I unfortunately had to go through my birthday uh, having a credit card that's stolen. And uh, of course, I'm paying for my own things because my friends are tremendous. But um, this technology of tap to pay is kind of crazy because you don't have to have a credit card. It's just tied to your bank. So you just I'm just there tapping all day. But uh, the way that your cards get stolen is actually by a thing called a skimmer which uh, it's, it's caused me to pull and tug at every single place where I stick my credit card in. As a matter of fact, every pussy, every pussy, I stick my penis and I tug and pull and make sure that it's real because Lord knows you can't. Um, you, you don't know these days. Uh, this is the neighborhood and you are not welcome. Here. All right, there you go. So this is uh, what I'm talking about here. And uh, sometimes the owner of the establishment would be the one that actually puts the skimmer in, which is what it looks like here in this particular tale. Uh, so let me show you here. Uh, it says, bro, definitely put it there. You know you have a skimmer, right? Huh? You have a credit card skimmer on there. Yeah. You know what this is, right? This is the Give me a second. Give me a second. Let That's me call the yeah, call the police. You know, I gotta say, uh, criminals are not necessarily smart. I'm sure this guy probably got this on some sort of AliExpress website. But goddamn, bro, let it fucking, I mean, pretend a little bit better that uh, you're surprised. It's almost like his immediate instinct was, oh, let me just grab it. And pretend like I'm confused. Nah, dude. Nah, homie. You put it in there, my dude. So this is how they steal your shit. I'm always tugging at everything. They look. Uh, I look like I'm nuts. Whenever I'm at the gas station and I'm yeeting on that fucking thing like a motherfucker. Uh, because uh, it's, it's supposedly easy to come out. I mean, they just stick it on there. They're trying to do it quickly. I've noticed that a lot of uh, gas stations now have like a piece of tape to cover it. So it kind of uh, uh, deters me from pulling on it. But it's also very annoying because now I, I what I can't trust sliding my credit card in a 7-Eleven, which by the way, I love 7-Eleven. I go there, you have a Pan de Bono, you get some pizza for less than five bucks and uh, you're in and out. So now I have to wonder if uh, my 7-Eleven adventures have been uh, the reason that my credit cards have gotten stolen. It's autistic. It really is annoying. But that's also a micro lesson in and of itself. If you're going to lie, lie better. Lie better. Um, be better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be better at lying. I mean, my goodness. Let me just play that again. I'm sorry. I'm just taken aback by the speed. Yeah. Look at this. You know what this is, right? Pulls it out, and his hand is already there. Like, oh, shit, oh, shit. And that tug. Also, there's a little bit of a tug there. There's a, a tug of war. So, homeboy's definitely guilty. At least guilty by the uh, the courts of uh, public opinion, which seems to be uh, prevalent here on uh, this TikTok video. How lame is that? Uh, hey, Piggy, how's it going? Duro with the NATO strap? No, this is actually uh, part of my birthday. I, I uh, gifted myself um, what looks like to be the watch from Dr. No. Uh, I said what looks like to be the watch because um, the watch from Dr. No is $60,000. And uh, I don't think I could put that on my credit card. Uh, so I got that one. And I even got a matching uh, strap. And the strap is even 16 millimeters. So I ordered specifically a 16 millimeter strap, uh, which is an undersized one to match the look of the movie because I'm, um, this is the neighborhood and you are not welcome. Here. That's because I'm that. Uh, so I decided to match the look. The only thing that I'm disappointed of, which I mentioned uh, previously, I went to a watch store and, uh, they couldn't change the crown out. I wanted to get a bigger crown to really replicate the one from the movie. But um, alas, that's not uh, going to be possible with this style of watch. Or it's going to be very expensive and unnecessary. So I'm just happy with this, uh, Xavier. But uh, yeah, almost, almost. Good eye there. Uh, what's the deal with the live streams lately? You doing okay? Says Nicholas Jordan. What if I wasn't? I think I'd be kind of gay if I told you, right? If I wasn't doing okay. And I'm here like, I take uh, this opportunity of your comment to go, you know what? I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm depressed. Actually, I have um, for a while. I mentioned this uh, a long time ago that like. Uh, this is the neighborhood and you are not welcome. 
I had these ridiculous panic attacks, and it turns out that my uh, body was uh, uh, convincing itself that my symptoms that I had of, of just general soreness from working out was a heart attack. So uh, I was taking a Lexapro, and I've stopped taking it uh, for about a month and a half, and it's kind of it's it's shitty the side effects because it's funny. One of them is suicidal ideation or um, whatever the uh, word would be at the end of that, which is hysterical considering the whole premise of anti-anxiety slash uh, anti-depression medication. Um, but uh, just like brain fog, it's just again really gay. I I, I was a fan of uh, of taking it because it really uh, prevented me from thinking that my body was uh hunting itself but uh, getting off of it is equally shitty so i recommend don't do it i recommend don't do it uh and to get to the brain fog i've been i've been slamming zins once a day i know i know i'm a zin virgin uh, for only having one a day and only having the three millis but uh that really clears brain fog nicotine's uh, wonderful at least for that uh duro's so good i had mine with a sapphire crystal for magnifying section Ooh, so you're out here on that mod tip that's when you know you're extra virgin -y. When you're on that watch tip, but you're modding that bad boy. Uh, my Duro is just over there. I enjoy it. I use it as a, uh, if I'm going to go and like, I don't know, do some repairs at my friend's house. I wear that as opposed to this one. Because this one's kind of um, as gay as it sounds. An homage to that uh, Goldfinger uh, Dr. No watch. Uh, which is pretty much identical. The only difference is the uh, size of the crown. Eh. Um, Jeremy B. Magician. Jeremy B. Magic Man drops an N. Drops an N. Uh, I really hope that's not uh, some sort of street jargon or lingo for uh, a, a word that begins with N because we don't do that here. Okay, we don't do that here on the podcast. We don't say dirty words. A uh, reminder that the UFC pre-fight conference starts at 5. That is uh, kind of shitty. I don't typically watch those, but I will be uh, partaking in the uh, festivities of UFC 300. Uh, are you voting for Trump? You know, this is an apolitical. This is an apolitical channel. I don't like talking politics here. Right, I really hate talking politics. Uh, I don't like uh, telling people um, as to who I'm going to vote for or why or when. But um, you know, uh, certain clues are out there. Certain subtle clues are out there. Uh, a friend gave me a cinnamon zin, and I had to excuse myself four times to throw up. <laughs> Was nicotine hiccuping like a homophobic slur? Uh, well, here's the thing about those. Right, um, cinnamon is AIDS. Coffee's king coffee's king uh mango's all right i haven't tried mint surprisingly enough i haven't tried mint surprisingly enough but uh i might go through that speaking of uh what zins prevent me from having thoughts of and that's racism i don't think uh in racist terms when i am either 10 feet from a building in oregon or i'm consuming zin products so it's a good thing it clears up my brain fog typically you know you might see a guy like me and, and think wow look at that little racist literally look at that little racist not me not me uh with my my zin uh and also uh, whenever I'm, I'm standing within 10 feet of a building in oregon now the justification here is uh parody levels of absurdity so if we zoom in it says uh, section 35 of the Oregon Constitution made racism the law of the land uh, until it was invalidated by the 14th Amendment in 1868. It was repealed in 1925 and finally removed by Measure 14 in 2002. We now, I can't read that, uh, our racial whatever oppose ideological and systematic racism so virtuous of the the building right to oppose racism it's kind of like when a when a somebody goes fuck nazis fuck them we don't want them yeah i mean that's 99 percent of the sentiment but uh, they seem like they're, they're they're virtuous because that's that opinion uh get with the program or please hop on a time machine back to 1868 no racism within 10 feet of this historic building what does that accomplish? Now, I could be taken, I could be taken by a, as a fool here because uh, unfortunately in 2024, you know, things could be manufactured, things could be um, not real, and this could be a prank. I could be getting pranked right now, and I wouldn't know because this is to the, a, a level of absurdity that um, it would be a tremendous prank. It's like uh, the stickers that uh, I have uh, from, I believe, Brian Brushwood that say voice activated. So you take the sticker and you put it on something like, uh, I don't know, like a paper towel dispenser in a bathroom. And you're going to have enough people screaming at the paper towel dispenser, which is a nice, fun prank. This would be a tremendous prank because, what, 11 feet? I could, I could uh, drop ends 
at 11 feet away from the building, but within five feet. That's that's against the code. So it's a really retarded thing, but I really found that hysterical uh, just because uh, I don't understand where people get off in posting little virtuous things on their Instagram accounts or on their Twitter or uh, on the building. On the building itself, they slap that thing emphatically and they say, not here. You might be racist 10 feet away, but not within this building. All right? Not within this building. Uh, at that point, I, I think out of principle, I'd just get a, a megaphone and yell obscenities from exactly 11 feet away. I'd get the little thing and measure 11 feet and be racist. Not because I am racist, which I'm not, but um, just to prove a point that your sign is retarded. Uh, w Swim says, uh, no joke, I was listening to one of your first live streams earlier today from six years ago. You did a lot more magic talk, but hadn't coined the word virginity yet. Uh, where there is a lot of virginity, uh, as much as I hate to talk about magic on these um, on these real-life live streams, I've, I should have mentioned as an introduction to this that uh, I understand that this is a magic channel. I mean, look at my qualifications, right? Look at my qualifications. I'm definitely very qualified. Uh, that this is a magic channel. However, uh, on these streams, I don't like to talk about magic. Magic's kind of lame on these streams. I like to remind people, hey, there's things outside of magic. Uh, so go outside, touch the grass, uh, understand what's happening in media, such as, uh, um, you know, 10 feet away from racism. That's a fun one. Or uh, ran through hoes, which we're about to talk about. But uh, there's a whole bit with uh, Craig Petty. And uh, if you haven't seen the videos on Craig Petty's channel, Craig Petty has a very prominent YouTube channel. And uh, I believe there's another channel called Everything Magic Pro, uh, who also does magic reviews. And um, it's the gayest beef of all time. It really is. Uh, the lamest beef. It's, it's over a trick. And uh, it was a video that Everything Magic Pro made in response to a video that Craig made. And then they, they went back and forth. And the last interaction was based on um it was really uh ridiculous because uh everything magic pro was like this next video is gonna be a bombshell you don't even know what it's gonna do to craig petty all his friends all his friends are gonna go bye 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 no no the video was about craig which craig did make a couple mistakes he needs to hire me as his uh, pr um because uh he did make a couple mistakes that i think in that line of uh of back and forth but uh craig petty was following hot girls on instagram so craig petty on his instagram his magic tv instagram uh made the mistake of of of, of uh of following hot girls and everything magic pro said nope this is disgusting isn't it is isn't sick that he's following hot girls and uh craig went on to say uh, that you know a lot of people have access to his account so they could follow things and then unfortunately he erased a lot of those accounts he, he uh, took out a lot of those accounts which i disagree with i think he shouldn't have done that um because then it makes it look like he was doing something wrong or deviant which he wasn't. There was a lot of hot girl. And then even in the examples, which is, uh, I forgot who I was talking to, but I was telling him, like, so let's say you're going to make a claim because the claim in that particular video was Craig Petty's following what looks like to be very young girls. Young as in perhaps under the age of allowance for this sort of thing. And you would think if you're going to make a claim like that in your video, you would highlight the worst examples. Right, you're trying to show this guy off as being a, a creeper, and then he goes off and he shows a, a bunch of girls, and they're all like hot college age girls. And he's like, "This is disgusting. Is it? Is it? Is it weird to be a magician that likes hot girls and you follow them on your Instagram? Is that a weird thing? Is that the point of virginity that we've come to?" And then he makes another video uh, saying, you know, fuck Craig Petty and fuck whatever. And it's just lame at that point. But I remember that video, uh, even unbiased magic reviews, um, they had a back and forth in the comment section. I have to screenshots because uh, unfortunately we're in an age where people take down videos. So I save everything. I save everybody. Every time there's drama or beef, I'm the only motherfucker there. That's, well, not the only, but I'm sure uh, one of few that's saving all this shit. Uh, so later on, you can't claim otherwise. But uh, he, the video was ridiculous, and uh, I think it's, it's the lamest point to make that your, uh, your gotcha moment was that, oh, on his Instagram, he follows hot girls. Fuck. Jesus. So that was a lot of virginity for that. Uh, Tony Ant Antonio <laughs> says, David Penn sent his love. Again, the assumption that David Penn doesn't like me. I have good evidence. 
David Penn doesn't like me. Okay, every time I tr first time I was fan fangirling when I saw him in Blackpool Magic Convention, and uh, I, I oh hey David, and he kind of kind of dismissed me, and I'm like oh all right, that's kind of lame, and I know he knows who I am because he's uh, I've responded on his videos and he's responded back, and uh, I think we're, there's some sort of circle that that I'm within that, so he knows who I am right and how I look like, so I don't think that's the issue. But there was another time when uh, uh, I would see, uh, for example, Peter Turner go up to him and, you know, he would be very cordial with Peter. And then whenever I was with Peter and we went to maybe see what David Penn was up to, he'd be dismissive. Dismissive like I would be with the hoes, for example, uh, like this one, like this one, this uh, hoe. Uh, let's go through this one. I <laughs> like this. Speaking of uh, girls that were ran through. So I saw this one and it, I, I immediately was taken aback by the tweet itself. Now here, you might be uh, uh, taken aback by the, the, the content. The content is, oh, uh, fun fact. When I lived at a frat house for a summer, they made my face the Coke plate and send me pics using it. Right. So you might be taken back and go, oh, man, that's this. What, look at uh, all these guys doing cocaine on a on a table uh, made with the, the face of a, of a girl there. That's not what I focused on. I focused on the subtext, the subtext here. Look at the let's let me let me. Uh, it's like the, the end of a movie with a twist that I'm going to unlock a secret here. Let's read the first part of this. Fun fact. When I lived at a frat house for a summer. When I lived, it's a female, Abby. When I lived at a, at a, obviously she has every single emoji uh, under the, um, uh, under the sun. I'm surprised there's not a free Palestine there, but uh, alas, I could only wish. You lived in a frat house for a summer? That means ran through. And uh, I made a mention of that in the responses. I don't want to click on it because it gets a really, uh, it gets really annoying um, when you click on it. Uh, come on, Elon, be better. Fix that. But uh, that made me uh, learn a word, which is bop. Bop means hoe. It means slut. It means lady of, um, of open vagina, essentially. And I think it's a great term. I'm usually against Gen Z uh, vernacular. I, I hate um, the, the stupidity of certain terms and uh, things they talk about. And, and I, I just hate it. But uh, they come out with a banger every once in a while. Every once in a while, they just hit that home run and you go, yeah, that's it. Bop is a good one. I like bop. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, using that. But am I wrong for thinking that uh, I didn't know it was possible for you to live at a frat house as a female? I thought that it was like a dude thing and it was sororities for girls and frats for dudes. But if you lived in a frat house, you were getting ran through. That's not subject to debate. That's just a fact. The sky's blue, grass is green. And you were getting dicked down constantly. Enough to, for them to make a, 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 a fucking Coke plate in your honor that I'm sure you probably partook in. Many times while getting reamed uh, my, by many men. Uh, and then there's the opposite. There's the opposite of that. So we have a hoe. And uh, if you guys remember from uh, one of the previous live streams, I'm sure you do. You don't, you don't have lives. Um, so this was a famous video going around. Um, and uh, the whole bit was on how this guy was essentially was like a, a prisoner. Girlfriend ever? I do. Who just bought you all this stuff? Now, in the video, uh, we knew that uh, based on that video, she had a fat voice. She had a fat voice. She had a fat bitch voice. And uh, the whole physiognomy of the individual, you could tell, uh, Panda Man from Facebook, DEI, fucker. Um, DEI. Yeah, okay. I wanted to make sure I didn't say D-I-E. And then uh, somebody misconstrues that as a threat. But... Um, so I, uh, we were all wondering, what does the girlfriend look like? And because I'm a better journalist than 99% of people that put journalists on their, I don't know, their LinkedIn, that they put, oh, I'm a CNN uh, a consultant or whatever. No, you're not. Shut up. So I found a girl. This is what she looks like. So uh, suffice to say, we were all correct. This is the right, guy. Guys, quick update. We're watching The Last Airbender on Netflix, and I ended up cooking dinner for me and my girlfriend. <laughs> so we were right. All of us were 100% right. Not only does she have a fat girl voice, but uh, she definitely has the body type 
and or hair color of an individual that would um, have her boyfriend post a video like that or post a video about your boyfriend like that where you're making him look like the absolute biggest bitch in the planet. Uh, so, you know, uh, <laughs> assumptions often uh, are correct. Assumptions are often correct. And in this case, we're 100% right. And uh, through the power of uh, investigative journalism, your boy found out that, that good scoop. Um, and not the scoop of ice cream that she probably has every single minute. Um, as a matter of fact, let me give myself one of these for that. Uh, I do have some voicemails. I'm going to play them here uh, and hope that uh, it's not going to end up being um, a bunch of slurs. This one was from 17 hours ago. 早上好,中国,现在,我有冰淇淋 Sorry, I forgot to turn my translator on But I just wanted to say, what the fuck is wrong with you, Pig Cake? The Elisa Jordana stuff just happened It's in the news, the live stream is still up And I feel like it's you being a guy I can't hear that, I'm sorry I know you guys could hear it because the audio is going through a different channel But uh, that's way too low for me So if that's you, uh, please remake your, your voicemail and make it louder Go, go fucking close on that mic and, uh, and, and speak louder because it seems like whatever mic you're using, at least uh, I'm not picking it up. And it doesn't help that I have three fans uh, currently aimed at my person. This is your friendly reminder. That you see the perfect example of what Manel does? That he puts his face on that microphone. That's what I want. You hate fat people and you should tell everyone about it. Thank you and Godspeed. Thank you, Manel. I hate fat people, and I want everybody on the planet to know that my hatred of fat people is for your own good. Uh, you fats, you might think, oh, Piggy's a fat phobe. Yes, uh, and no, I'm not afraid of you. Uh, if I walk briskly in any direction, I'll probably be able to avoid you. Um, you're not healthy uh, just because you could, I don't know, do a cartwheel. That doesn't mean that you're going to live longer than me. That means that you could do a cartwheel. I've seen that a bunch of times, like Lizzo's on like a treadmill, and she's out here trying to be like a health advocate. No. No, look at you. Your heart is working at a rate that it shouldn't because of your body. You weren't born fat. Oh, my thyroid, shut up. Mm. That sounded like a like a a fart uh in the back of a fucking Porsche. That was interesting. Thank you for that. Pig. By 34, I was already divorced with two kids. <laughs> so you've avoided that. Good on you. Don't let them tease you about your $2 tank tops. Keep on keeping on. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that. You seem like you've had a life lived uh, if you're 34, uh, which is a, what are essentially all our parents um, were. At, by the time they were 20, they already had kids and a career, essentially. Uh, I know my mom did. And uh, we're here, I'm here at 34 doing magic trick videos. So what a weird time we live in. Uh, let's go through these comments. I apologize. We float down here. It says moving from Florida to Oregon, I assume, was the strangest culture shock. Very misguided attempts at trying to address deeper seated societal issues. Uh, Kizel says, doesn't YouTube demonetize for the R word? Yes, it does. Uh, unfortunately, every single one of these live streams gets demonetized. So you should get my books. You should get my books, uh, The Art of the Squeal, and also my deck of playing cards. Uh, we're going to be selling uncut sheets uh, relatively soon. Unfortunately, U.S. only for, I think, uh, the beginning of it. And then we're going to open it up. But the uncut sheets, again, once they're gone, they're gone. And we only have uh, enough that I signed. So I numbered them. Uh, so that's going to be a fun thing. But uh, that's <laughs> let's just... Say that I'm not making any money on YouTube. I was actually doing my taxes. I was doing my taxes. And uh, on YouTube, for the year of 2023, I want to see if people could correctly guess how much money I made on YouTube. Uh, for the entire year, the business fiscal year of 2023. So please let me know what you guys think. A uh, friend gave me a cinnamon one. I already read that one. Uh, you're allowed to be racist 11 feet away. That's the that's the bits in that particular sign. You are allowed to be racist uh, five feet away. Sorry, 11 feet away. I was thinking of my dick size. <laughs> this is hard to use, by the way. He was the best guy around. What about the people he murdered? What it's murder? <laughs> I love that. I really do love that. But it's going to be hard to, to, to use in there. 
Uh, I was expecting you in 40 minutes time. Hello, says uh, Toby Riding. I'm doing these a little bit early. Uh, I might have some endeavors later. So go easy. Everything Magic Pro may be transitioning. Well, I don't want to say anything about a medical condition, but uh, he does seem to highlight that often, which is, again, uh, the shield, right? Uh, man, that's a whole ad Gorlock, says Kissio. Yeah, that's a pretty aggressive Gorlock, I got to say. Uh, that guy's boyfriend, sorry, girlfriend. Uh, it's it's not a good vibe. And that, that sort of couple exists everywhere. It's a very common type of couple where you have the fat fuck and you have the skinny sort of, I hate to use the word beta, but that's the best way to describe uh, that particular type of person. Uh, Corn Pop says, I cannot believe Craig Petty likes hot bitches with big titties. Disgusting. Yeah, right? How gross is that? Uh, 16K. That's funny. Satchel sweet. If I made 16K on YouTube, I wouldn't be here. Um, I'd be uh, doing Coke. I'd be using that as Coke money. 16K in addition uh, to other stuff. That'd be unbelievable. No, not even uh, remotely close, Satchel. But uh, Hungry Hunger is actually closer <laughs> to what I made on YouTube in the year of 2023. Um, so I would say Satchel, or, uh, Satchel, your guess is way off. Um... Hungry and Hungover is actually closer. Uh, they could cosplay as Hurricane and Rosie, of course, talking about the uh, you're making a wrestling reference, which makes me want to pin of shame you. But uh, alas, uh, I can't do that yet. Uh, but speaking of pin of shame, I would definitely give a pin of shame to this dumb white bitch. Uh, I could say white bitch because that doesn't that sort of racism doesn't exist in the states uh let's see which one in particular because i know there are two dumb white bitches that i wanted to highlight here in particular one was this one did i like the other one man i should be a little bit more prepared this is one i guess i might as well show this one uh the, the amount of uh ego that bitches possess and i i blame social media directly Obviously, we've always had ego. We've always had, a, a, I would say, a problem with people that were uh, full of shit. But uh, social media kind of perpetuates that. Mm. By getting this reinforcement and likes for what is um, otherwise uh, mediocre behavior. So in this case, we have uh, a bitch that's uh, her whole thing is equestrian. She's a, a horse rider. I'd say pretty attractive. I'm a fan. Um, but um, the, the whole subtext of this video, I guess I'll just play it. I don't know if I could play the audio. Yeah, I can't play that audio. But uh, you can see the subtext of the video. Being embarrassed going shopping in my horse riding clothes. Joke, my outfit is gorgeous and my hat is worth more than my whole family's outfits put together. And it's her walking in various places wearing her little equestrian gear. Um, nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. Uh, Maddie, nobody gives a fuck. She's kind of hot for like a tiny little white girl. That's the other part about equestrian. Uh, that they're always like... Tiny, thick little bitches. Uh, oh, shit. Wait, hold up. Stop. Stop. I can't say that. I might get everything Magic Pro to make a fucking video. That's the other part that annoyed me because I know he saw my video and he didn't He didn't even give me a fuck you. Come on. Be better. I can't do it on the screen. But uh, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh, people think uh, people care more than they do. This is just cringe that she put this out here. She edited it. And uh, the worst part is that 9,000 people liked it. And uh, the worst part is that if I didn't see these little things, I probably would have liked it because I would have been like, oh, look, it's a tiny little hoe. It's a tiny little attractive uh, horse rider girl. But nobody gives a shit. Shut up. My goodness. You already know what those girls were in high school. They were the pick me bitches. They were the girls that lived in, um, in a, what do you call this, uh, frat houses for a summer. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Satchel C Sweet says 117K like a bus driver. Man, let me tell you, if you're making 117K as a bus driver, I'm in the wrong line of work. Uh, but I think I'm too short for that. Uh, Dan Buck, Harlan Fleshman, White Sperry Garcia, Peen S. I guess you put S as a comment. Uh, Robin Williams said go Coke was God's way of saying that he had too much money. Uh, you know, I've never done Coke and I'm not interested. Um and doing cocaine uh neither wheat the only one i was ever interested in i've mentioned this again many times uh, i hate to talk about me too it's kind of gay when you talk about me oh me but this is a podcast where i'm the host so but i didn't drink until i was 27 so the only thing that i've been interested in was uh liquor and uh, nicotine because i was always interested in cigars but uh, i was very straight edge until i was uh, 27 and then uh, i discovered mixing drinks 
and uh, I got into making drinks, and uh, that was one, and then cigars eventually, and now I'm a huge fan of both, but that's enough. Like, that's all you need. If you're out here, like, uh, uh, cross-fading, getting fucking fucked up, and then uh, doing coke and weed and, no, and pills, could you imagine all that shit? This is enough. This is the worst for you, arguably. Uh, I guess you do less of coke, but it still fucks your heart. Um, this, you know, ruins your liver, your heart. This is not good for you. But I would argue, to me, uh, I'm more interested in that than uh, cocaine. Uh, let's see, this one, uh, your mama raised you wrong? That's, that's not true. My mom raised me pretty well. Uh, um, I, I think she kind of raised me, I think, to be a gay. My mom wanted girls really badly, and instead she got four boys. And uh, I remember when I was younger, or looking back at some pictures of us in the beach, and uh, we're wearing girl shoes. And it turns out that my mom, in anticipation of having girls, she manifested it and bought girl clothes and bought like, you know, girl shoe, uh, baby shoes and, and uh, all these girl clothes uh, to manifest it into existence. And no, no, she ended up getting four boys. So j jokes on you. Uh, main character syndrome. Funny enough, uh, we have an exact uh, uh, segue into another main character. A person with main character energy. If you're not familiar with what a person with main character energy is, it's somebody that thinks that their shit doesn't stink, that they're worth more than they actually are. Uh, this typically happens with um, hobbies and whatnot, like, for example, equestrian. Uh, this one is uh, is one that I like, which is riding a bike, riding a motorcycle, rather. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of motorcycles. I, I don't like crotch rockets, but this is just the worst kind of loser in the planet that he assumes that oh i'm riding a bike everybody must think i'm cool <laughs> well i'm gonna ride this in a way that nobody else rides and they're gonna think whoa whoa look at me <laughs> yeah i ride bikes shut up be better be better be better be better be better listen to the worst two people on the planet tell you that uh, am i in focus i think i am but uh, look at how lame this video is my goodness so I want to play the audio a little bit there I can't play the entire track But I just wanted to give you the vibe of the video right? It's like a kind of like cyberpunk track On the back of this guy on his crotch rocket Giving the tap a little la uh, The ladder a little tap right? Just so cool, casual while you're riding your bike on the highway So talented And then he's like yeah he gives a thumbs up Car next to me gives me a thumbs up Spotted this nice jag had to tell homie what's good. Hey, man, really like your car. Adios. I'm going to ride off in the sunset. But he starts following me. Hey, man, watch this. Look at me here. I could do a Superman on my bike. <laughs> I'm showing you the love. I'm sure he's saying what the fuck's going on. I'm making sure he looked back, you know, and I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, man, dude, it's so funny what I did there when he's following me. I did a Superman. Isn't that crazy? Hey, <laughs> guys, look at me. Isn't that crazy, man? What the fuck is that? Is that long hair? Is that a chick? I don't even know if it's a fucking chick. I wouldn't doubt it if it's... This is chick energy that I'm getting. Struggling to catch up because of all the cagers. What the fuck is a cager? What the fuck is a cager? Is that a car? A car owner? No. No. Hold up. Let's do a little bit of research here. Uh, cager. Definition. Uh, a cager definition. I guess I have to look on Urban Dictionary, right? A cager. Right now I'm thinking of a word that rhymes. Uh, uh, sorry, a word that um, is the, the British term for cigarette in my head over and over again. Just to let you know my context. A popular word amongst motorcyclists and bicyclists for four-wheeled motor vehicle drivers. The term is often used as a derogatory sense because the car body effectively forms a cage, isolating the said drive from having to interact with the road and with other road users. What a fucking absolute loser this person is. Struggling to catch up back because of the cagers. <laughs> That's so funny. Nobody could catch up to me. Oh, I didn't realize he has a fucking horn on his stupid helmet. God, what a fucking... Oh, my bad. You're just looking at me react right now. <laughs> I had a fucking idiot, but he has a fucking horn on a stupid motorcycle. Or she, I don't know. Uh, so the the trying to catch up because of all the cagers, <laughs> you know, it must be tough. 
Must be tough as a cager to catch up with me. Oh, is he still here? He caught up with me. Isn't that crazy? I guess you made it. You caught up with me. Man, just look at that beautiful machine. Uh, have to exit here, though. What a fucking idiot. God, what a loser. Just thinks he's better. And using those terms, he's fucking... It's like magicians. If you use the term muggle... Uh, I don't want to say kill yourself, but... Uh, motorcycle loser, by the way. That was under my uh, my notes as motorcycle loser. Uh, the day you were born, Saturn was at the wrong place and a fucked up manifestation. That is true. That or my dad uh, came wrong. My dad came wrong. So I'm sure had he come different, um, <laughs> that would have been... <laughs> maybe I would have been a girl. That would have been a different channel. I would have probably had <laughs> way more viewers, though. As a female magician. If you guys don't know, I'm a male magician. Uh, this is my Instagram. So... Um, I just wanted to point that out. I'm sure I'm going to make Male Magician merch at some point if you want to partake in that. Uh, it's probably just going to be Male Magician. So if you want to pay 25 bucks for a shirt that says Male Magician, uh, by all means do it. But I'm probably going to be coming out that line uh, maybe after the stream. Maybe after the stream I might consider it uh, just as a, a way of, of calling you retarded for your assessment that now you have to segregate female magicians from male magicians. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Uh, main character syndrome, I agree. Uh, Dan Buck, Harlan Fleshman, White Sperry Garcia. I, I don't like that you don't put cake there at the end of all those uh, magician names. Uh, Everything Magic Pro deleted the videos, but still shit-talking Craig in the comments. Yeah, that's the lame part. And and the, the, just to block the comments, ugh, God, so lame. I'm not a fan of that. If you're going to stand by your words, put the comments out there. Especially if your, your uh, point was, oh, <laughs> well... He's disgusting, and he should be investigated for looking up uh, hot girls on Instagram. Ugh. Uh, height requirement is 4'8", sorry. Ah, turns out I can't be a bus driver. Fuck. Uh, life is bad for your health. That's a great term. Uh, I hate that that's probably on a t-shirt somewhere. Uh, 42. And last month, I had my first drink of tequila. Damn, I wasn't ready. Well, tequila tastes like the vomit. That's the worst part. Uh, Nicholas Jordan says, motorcycle gangs are a real brotherhood. Well, uh, I, you know, I'm not a fan of any gang. I hate the fucking stupid people that ride their bikes up and down the highway. Uh, it's like 30 of them that they just ride. They never have license plates or anything. It's always the, the lamest vibe. I hate those. Um, but uh, I don't want to say motorcycle gangs because they will shoot you. Uh, and I like biker bars. Um, let's see here. What else? Porsche was probably following it just to see if he would wipe out. Uh, law of attraction. Don't do magic. <laughs> magic orthodoxy says magician identifying. Give you a car crash for that. I think you deserve it. Uh, if you want more viewers, because I don't want to read that one just for sake of, uh, you know, YouTube's new policies, Nicholas. Unfortunately, I can't be, um, judging uh, people like that. Because uh, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make money. Uh, so the the correct number, by the way, I'm actually gonna write it down. Uh, how much I made on YouTube? Twenty twenty three. So um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna write the number down. Right. If somebody could pencil read, I'm trying to throw you off. Fuck. Uh, all right. So I wrote it there. I wrote it very shittily. But uh, that's how much money I made on YouTube last year. YouTube uh, monetization. So um, from ads on my YouTube videos. It's kind of sad considering how much videos I make on YouTube. And, and I guess it makes sense to views. But gosh, ew, I would expect a little bit more uh, than what I got there. Uh, don't write out of order or you'll be punished as a grown ass man. Give us a good topic, dude. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I realized that I should be going through my topics like, uh, like cuck loser. Like, cuck loser. Uh, let me see. I think somebody else left a voicemail. Let me make sure. I, I want to make sure that uh, people don't think that the fame has gone to my head. Uh, which is, by the way, a comment, a real comment that I've gotten from people. Uh, saying, oh, Piggy, the, the fame has gone to your head. You're not the same anymore. You're just, you know, out here ignoring comments. Really? Really? The fame's gone to my head. All right, dude. Um, so this one, uh, this I wrote this as cuck loser. And uh, it's this one in particular. Cut Do loser. Black Lives Matter? Uh, men. The state of men in 2024 is really uh, abhorrent. I think we're in a place where being a bitch is like promoted. 
And uh, you see all this with, uh, and, and, and yeah, you might make the argument in the 70s and 60s with rock stars, uh, fucking, what's a, a page dressed in girl pants, but he was wearing the pants of girls that he fucked, essentially. That was his whole bit. He would wear the clothes of the girls that he fucked. Um, the guy from Led Zeppelin. I forgot his name. Shut up. Don't shoot me. I've never been a fan of, of, uh, of them, but uh, he would wear the clothes of the girls that he fucked, right? So whatever. But just this sort of man, this, this Harry Styles individual is, is was pushed. Oh, look, it's manly to wear that outfit. It's manly to have your girl have boyfriends. It's manly. And it's like, you know, I think we have a different definition. Uh, now, if you're into that sort of stuff, you know, you, you're comfortable. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know. I know people. I know people that, you know, uh, have multiple partners and things like that, but I don't know. I'm sorry. It's in it's within us to feel some sort of reaction to that. And this is a perfect example of that. We have a, a what is my type? I like this nerdy sort of strong chin. Uh, she looks like a like a sexy librarian. I mean, it's not the best, but uh, I'd be happy uh, with that. Right. Uh, just in terms of looks now. The moment she speaks, you can tell that she's a fucking idiot. But uh, let's go over the video. Do Black Lives Matter? Of course. Listen, we have a black man right here. I love he's him. Never, That's Trey. I know this man. I met him. He's never kissed a white girl in his life. Will you be the first one right here on camera? Can I kiss him? On, on okay. Oh. Boom. How's that feel, bro? I don't fucking care. Are y'all dating or no? Yeah, we're black dating. Black Lives Matter? So, yes, Black Lives Matter. Do Black Lives Matter? Of course. Listen, we I'm reminded of magicians that donated ten thousand dollars to uh, that movement, <laughs> only for that money to go directly to Act Blue, um, which is funny. But uh, that's not the point here. The point is, what's happening here? What's going on? I love He's him. That's never Trey. I know this man. I met so, him. Obviously, it's a bit. This guy's obviously kissed white girls. It's a whole premise for the video. Babe, can I kiss him? So immediately to that, and then she, he's like, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's cool. It's not cool. Okay. It's disrespectful. And you might think, oh, he's so, this guy's so assured. He's so confident in their relationship that he doesn't mind his girl kissing another man. What? Come on. Have a modicum of decorum in 2024. Have some balls, man. Have some balls. Homeboys out here. Of course it matter, man. Of course they matter. I guarantee you had the next question been, hey, man, do all lives matter? He goes, well, well, that would have been a subject to an argument. But uh, my goodness, I don't know. I'm not a fan. Again, I know some uh, people, a couple people, as a matter of fact, that are uh, into that lifestyle. Uh, I just can't imagine ever uh, considering my significant other willingly with another person. Now, in that situation, I'm willing to bet that she... He would be totally open with her being with other people, but she wouldn't be open with him. So she wouldn't be cool with him if, for example, he kissed a black girl. That would never happen. So had the roles been reversed in that situation, I know we're speaking of hypotheticals here, but I'm willing to bet that uh, a thousand percent had those been uh, reversed and it, she said, oh, we have um, uh, a, a black girl here that's never kissed a, a white boy. Uh, and she, hey, babe, you mind if I kiss her? You mind if I kiss her? That would have been the end of the planet. That would have been the, 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 that, the resonance of that scream would have been enough that you would have heard it. It would have made another, another little earthquake for New York. Uh, Jimmy Page also openly dated a 14-year-old. Uh, yeah, that girl was thrown around from my understanding. Uh, that one that was, uh, I forgot what her name was. But uh, they all fucked her, which is kind of gross. So, like all those rock stars. Um, but uh, that was fucking weird. Back in the back in the seventies, <laughs> that was just all right. Uh, one of my favorite songs of all time, uh, um, "Into the Night" by Benny Mardonis. Uh, she's just sixteen years old. Leave her alone, they said. And uh, he came out in an interview uh, saying that uh, the girl was uh, a friend of his, and he dedicated the song to her. And it wasn't necessarily uh, the sexual thing; it was more of a of a, of a sort of a you know, dedication to her, but no, no, I'm sorry, Benny. You're not going to get away with your song starting off with, she's just 16 years old. Leave her alone. They said separated by fools who don't know what love is yet. It's a tremendous song. Don't get me wrong. It's probably one of the best songs. The only song to make it twice on the top 10, I think 
uh, in both times when it came out. One time the original and then the, the remastered or whatever. Shot up again. So what a classic banger of a song. Uh, that video is also tremendously creepy. Uh, I, I, I remember seeing an Opie and Anthony video. And uh, the music video came out. Um, it was this thing that was hidden, essentially. Uh, I don't think it was out in the open uh, for good reason. But let me look up into the night this is a subcategory look at this we're out here uh getting into impromptu topics here it's not just um it's not just that although here's the funny part when i was younger uh i remember seeing the song in one of those compilation videos right and uh they only showed this part right here of uh mardona's in uh, with the the payphone and then i've always wondered where the fuck is a music video I've, i would i would have loved to see that and then it leaked somehow, uh, but I can't play the song. I don't know if I playing the video would be too much, but uh, look at how fucking creepy this is. So you know, what, you know what's going on. I mean, the lyrics here, you have Benny Mardones dressed uh, like he was standing too close to the prison bars uh, when they painted them. Uh, smoking a, uh, you know, British word for cigarette that I can't say. But in that context, I could say it, right? Uh, but he comes over here and he goes to what looks like to be Ox Baker. The professional wrestler, uh, his his house, and uh, I, I guess I could play this. So we have Benny Mardonis here, right? Uh, and you know he's just upset that he just went to the girl's house, <laughs> and, and the dad, who by the way is a is a a fucking. Imagine you have a man show up at your house that looks older than you are <laughs> asking for your 16-year-old daughter. And he's like, fuck, they don't know what love is. I know what love is. So he goes around to her room. He takes off his fucking sweater and he's serenading her through the window. Look at this fucking creep. She's there. And you would think, oh, man, no, if it's a dedication, <laughs> Benny, if it's a dedication to her, you know, this is making you look bad. This is definitely making you look bad. And of course, right now he's serenading her. Um, so right now he's serenading her saying, um, if I could fly, I'd take you up. I'd show you love that you've never seen. So essentially it's fucking. You're, you're fucking. And then, of course, the dad, I'm sure, uh, the subtext here kicks her out or kicks him out. And uh, he gets a payphone, and he's like, fuck it. If I can't go visit you, I'm going to call you. And uh, she's there listening to him serenading her on the phone. Uh, Benny Mardonis is. And uh, here's the best part, right? Shit starts getting a little bit wacky. And uh, he, he goes through her window, which, by the way, tremendous cinematography here. You, you, I love the fixed camera angle uh, of him coming in from the fucking window. No context whatsoever. Rolls out the magic carpet and has her get on it. And uh, look at this tremendous uh, bit of rotoscoping here. Or this green, sc uh, green screen. And uh, obviously, you know, he's taking her on a magic carpet ride. And you would think, oh, you know, whatever. It could be, a, 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 you know, he sees a, a daughter in her. Like, I love you like a daughter or whatever. Uh, no. No, not like a daughter. He starts fucking, he, he starts tongue fucking her here. Look at that. So, <laughs> and, and the fucking, what is that, the Sears Tower? Tremendous song. Tremendous song. If you just cut off the first five seconds, uh, it'd be the perfect song, to be honest. Uh, let's look through the comments here. I apologize. I know I skipped a bunch. Uh, hey, David. Uh, okay, I'm finally home. Hey, Orthodoxy. Uh, can't have another guy fucking your girlfriend if you don't have a girlfriend. That's true. That's the type of guy that would benefit from Andrew Tate's lesson. What a cuck. Uh, I agree. Uh, some jealousy is healthy. Yeah, I agree. I think some jealousy is healthy. Some jealousy is good to have because it keeps your relationship grounded. Uh, OJ died today. I, I contemplated uh, getting some OJ and, and dropping it uh, in honor of him. But OJ gets sticky. And I like uh, heavy pulp on my OJ. It all started when men stopped wearing socks with dress shoes. Uh, Got to tell you, I've taken the, uh, one of the, the, the habits that I've taken from... Miami Vice is no socks. I don't wear socks with shoes. Uh, I think they're they're awful. I think it's stupid, especially little ankle socks. Like imagine you're in the heat of the moment, right? I never meant to be so bad to you. One thing I said that I would never do. A look from you and I would fall from grace. 
And that would wipe the smile right from my face. Do you remember when we used to dance? An incidental rose from circumstance. Fuck, I forgot the rest of it. One thing led to another. We were young. And we were strained to get our songs unsung. It was the heat of the moment. Telling me what your heart meant. It was the heat of the moment. Although, here's a, here's a problem with uh, uh, songs. I, I fuck up lyrics all the time. As a matter of fact, one of my biggest uh, points was um, that I don't... Uh, I don't... Um, fuck. <laughs> my train of thought completely derailed. Uh, Billy Ocean. Billy Ocean has a song uh, where he says, What I thought was we're sharing the same drink. Now our hearts shall beat as one. No, no, the lyric was, we're sharing the same dream. So, sharing the same drink works in the same way, by the way. Shares in the same, uh, it's, it's the exact same bit. So, I don't understand why. It's kind of lame uh, on that end. But, by the way, the reason I mentioned Asia uh, there in Heat of the Moment is because uh, in the heat of the moment, right, I don't want to be taking off my little socks, my little cute ankle socks, right, while I'm getting wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Could you imagine how lame that would be? Oh, you know, shit's going down. Uh, let me take off my shoes and my little cute socks. Ill. So I don't wear socks. I don't wear socks. And it's way more comfortable. Uh, so whenever I've gone, I went to a funeral recently, put on some nice little dress shoes. No socks. Uh, the worst part is that I wore loafers. I wore black loafers. So magic orthodoxy, I apologize. Uh, but is that Ashley Biden says magic buzz with a base comment as usual? Uh, this song sucks, dude. Heat of the moment does not suck. Okay, heat of the moment is one of the, it's one of the bangers of our time. Okay, so I resent that. Uh, as a matter of fact, for that, I'm gonna no, I'm not even gonna give you a pin of shame for that. You don't deserve a pin of shame. Uh, I have birthday drunkness on my uh, list here. I guess I wanted to mention my birthday drunkness. Uh, I was at the bar from three to ten, which isn't a big deal normally, but uh, boy, did they shower me with drinks, and I didn't even tell them it was my birthday. I didn't tell him it was my birthday and uh, I uh, the drinks are just so cheap there. I guess they I've gone to the bar that they opened before and then they opened this bar. Uh, so I had from 10 to three and it was like 40 bucks my entire tab with tip. And I, I just kept getting whiskey, soda, vodka, sorry, not vodka, rum and Cokes. I just kept drinking like a motherfucker. Um, taller socks kill my calves. Uh, and, and also as a short guy, it cuts your height. It's like why I can't wear uh, high top uh, uh, Nikes, for example, that uh, they, they make me look shorter. So I don't want that. Uh, speaking of looking shorter, the whole point of this particular stream is uh, a show based on a show called, uh, I don't know, I think it's called Border Patrol, right? And I've shown this before. Uh, I have to some capacity. This person that's highlighted in the show is everything wrong with travel in 2024 it's everything wrong you might be thinking oh no it's boeing and the planes crashing uh which i don't want to say because i don't want to get killed no it's this guy it's this type of guy because this guy right here the the subject of the thumbnail is 100 percent of every tsa agent every immigration officer every border patrol dude that you're going to run into it's this guy it's this type of person it's what the job it's a magnet to these type of people and also, I hate his little fucking haircut that you know, he knows he's going to be on camera. So he's like, oh, man, I'm a little extra fresh for the camera. He told all his boys that he's going to look extra fresh. And this is what he ends up looking like, like a fucking retard. Fuck. It pisses me off because I know what's coming in the video. I hate this. I hate everything about this. This guy's a loser, idiot, a pretend cop. He has a gun. I don't believe that he's a cop. Uh, I think he's just Border Patrol. They're not preventing anything. What you're preventing is retarded people from getting through. If you're a person that's a competent drug dealer and you're trying to smuggle a mule or drugs through a mule, you're going to be, co hey, the, this is what you should say. This is what you should do. Now, again, some just leave them out there, but you don't want to lose product. So you want to make sure that you have a competent mule or a competent uh, backpacker, whoever is uh, uh, traveling with your uh, illicit drugs. So 
you're catching out the people that are either not really familiar with English, so foreigners, uh, people that don't speak English as well as you do, uh, or people that are just, uh, they don't understand what the fuck you're trying to get at, or the retarded mules, the retarded mules. And those are, I would say, less than the ones that actually are competent. Because they don't stop anything. I forgot what the study was or, or what they, uh, they managed to show that uh, you could sneak anything, essentially, through the TSA. And also, they saw your dick. Whenever you would do the little machine where you do this and then they scan you, up until like 2013, they could see your dick through the machine. So imagine, how dumb is that? That not only is it like a, a physical, it's they see your cock and they see you naked through that little fucking machine. So it's also violating, in a sense. Fuck them. God, I hate them. Fuck. So this guy, look at this fucking stupid mock cop. This fucking worthless sense of respect. Hey, how you doing, brother? How are you, brother? How you doing? What do you need help with, man? Mm -hmm. What do you need help with? What do you need help with? And he's there. Oh, the smug. Look at the smug. He knows he's on camera. So in his head, he's acting right now. He's acting. Oh, I'm going to be on camera. I want to stand out. So I want to make sure that I look tough and cool. And I'm not going to take any bullshit from anyone. How are you, so brother? he picks on the nerdiest looking foreign dude. Like a guy that you've seen that you've pa passed a thousand times, right? Now, granted, yeah, that would be the best mule. But clearly, there's a language disparity that you should pick up right off the bat. How are you, brother? How you doing? What do you need help with, man? Pardon? What do you need help with? What do you need help with? Pardon? Do you need help with anything? You need well, help? Yeah, I need no, I don't need fucking help. Yeah, well, yeah, in this case, my bad. You need to get changed or you need to pay with a credit card. Yeah. No, I can't help you, man. I don't carry change. If you got all your bags, I'll help you get out. You might as well carry change. You might as well carry change. Because that would make your job useful. Useful to not only the United States government that you seem to work for, which I don't fucking believe, and I hate that. Uh, I, I'm sure a portion of my tax is going to this fucker. But I don't believe that. If you carry change, you'll be infinitely more useful as a person in your position. Let me get your passport one second, man. Let me get right? your passport. Good, man. Good. Happy to hear that. Mm. The other part that you notice there, I'm stopping this all the time because I'm, I'm out here pretending to be spidey and analyzing body language. Look at his smug, little stupid face, right? He picks up that the guy's a little nervous, which you would be if you're getting accosted in the airport because the last thing you want is you, you, do, you want to get to your destination. You don't want to deal with all the stupid bureaucracy. You just want to get to the fucking destination, as does 99% of travelers. Lord knows, you know, now you can just... Fucking walk into the country. You don't need to deal with this. This guy's acting all high and mighty on this fucking guy. Just walk in. Just walk in. We're just letting everybody in. Just come in. Why do you have to deal with this? Fuck. So the guy's naturally a little bit nervous. And homeboy's like, no, no, this is not what my training says. This is not what my training says. No. You're nervous right now because you're hiding something. And I caught on to that because I'm smarter. I'm smarter. Why, why do you just fucking be better be better be better i just want to do this do this and then he was the best guy around what about the people he murdered what so murder that's people talking about me by the way that's the bits it's hard that one's hard that one's a hard one to pepper in uh let's see what the comments say about this thus far are you just as frustrated as i am i hope you are because if you are that lets me know that we're 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 in sync if you're as frustrated as I am looking at that fucking video. Because it's for a television show, uh, Hungry and Hungover. So you said, are you sure this isn't a skit? Why is he mic'd up? So it's a, it's a show for TV uh, where they highlight these instances of Border Patrol. And uh, Border Patrol winning, winning in their uh, attempts to try to uh, reduce things from um, smuggling or reduce, uh, you know, drugs and people coming in for nefarious reasons. Fuck. Uh, didn't know DJ Khaled had a security job. D that guy wishes he had a, a fucking fraction of DJ Khaled's intelligence. Uh, let's make fake social media profiles. Let's do a Matt Frazier reading. Uh, yeah, I'd be down. But uh, people have already done that. A bunch of people have already done that. And it's kind of lame. Because... Um, it's the same old shit. Uh, you know, the, the, he doesn't pick you. He just picks certain people. And then if you don't get picked, whatever. So it's, it's essentially a waste of money. And you've paid him. You've paid him. So at the end, he won. Uh, Manel says, when I go to America, I hope one of these guys stops me. Ooh, boy. Would I take up revenge in your honor, Manel? Would I take up revenge in your fucking honor? But uh, let's go and take a look at this absolute nobody of a person. It's only been 21 seconds, by the way. And I've stopped it about a hundred times because I can't take this. Good, man. Good. You all good? Yeah, man. Happy to hear that. Come on over, man. Bring that 
Come on over. We're gonna fucking essentially molest so you. Saw me. It looked like mom just walked into the bathroom. Where you, you know, one of those. Whoa. Oh, you're so smart. You're so intuitive, Officer Leon. As soon as he saw me, it looked like mom just walked into the bathroom. Where you, you know. One of those, oh man, dude, how crazy is that? That he picked up on all that. He picked up on that, you know? Even though the guy probably doesn't speak English well, he's a foreigner traveling to the country. Yeah, of course, you got him. You nailed him. Definitely worth a thorough back check. While I'm doing the search, I'm gonna ask you, don't don't touch anything on the table, okay? We're good? I'd love to slap the shit out of that guy. My goodness. By the way, let's see. Could you guess? Could you guess what they're going to find on him? Could you guess what they're going to find on his person? If you guessed nothing, you'd be right. You'd be 100% right if you guessed absolutely nothing. 32 length? I'm a 32 length. Is it yours? What size pants do you wear? Size 33, 35, right? Yeah, you're a tall guy. Got him. <laughs> Smuggling jeans. Damn, dude. They got him with the pants that don't fit him. Look at Officer Leon here. Hey, man. What's this? Pants? With his serious face and his fucking gut. Oh, he doesn't deserve a gun. Look at the... Oh, as fucking... As officers, we're trained to be observing. The items people are bringing to the United States, they need to make sense. If it doesn't make sense... The items that they were bringing in their bag may be a key point to make us think that something else may be going on. Like what? What are you bringing this for? This is phone number. You're bringing for somebody. Look at that. So they asked him, who are you bringing it for? And he goes, yes, no problem. Maybe you should use your intuition as a little border patrol officer to figure out that maybe he's not uh, entirely aware as to the situation that's in front of him. You fuck. Who me? Who is he? His friend, his brother gave it to me to deliver to him. When I reach here, I should call this number. Come He's going to come and get it from you? Yes. Oh. You're like a delivery man. Pack it up, brother. Pack it up, brother. Oh, and he hasn't packed up his own shit? Ah, oh, you fuck. You got the reaction. You got the body language. Nervous, so. He's nervous because he's dealing with foreign officers in a country that obviously he's not a part of. Look at Sherlock Holmes here. This fucker. I think that's a cop. Maybe. Definitely has a body. So you're going to be here for three weeks. That's a long time. What do you plan on doing on your trip? <laughs> Just visit a lot of uh, amusement parks. Do you know anybody in New York? No, except that person that picked his clothes. Whose house are you going to be staying at while you're here? Here? Yeah. I'm staying in a hotel. This one? The Orchard Street Hotel? Yes, sit, sit, sit. Yes. Orchard Street. Yes, that's why, sit, I, sit, 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 sit. that's why I made two reservations so that if I go Did there, this guy stand up and square up? This one? The Orchard Street Hotel? Yes, sit, sit, sit. Orchard Street. First of all, they sit him like 14 feet away. So if you're getting documentation there, he's a foreigner. He's He wants to look and make sure that what you're looking at is not going to fuck him in the ass. But then homie in the back, I hope he didn't square up. God, I hate him more. I hope he was standing up. I might be looking into it a little bit too much, but obviously he looks at him and stands up and gives him a stern look. What the fuck? Wait, so you don't know how much the money the hotel is? Two hundred and two hundred and what? Sit, sit, sit. Please don't, please don't keep standing up. Yeah, I need you to stay seated. People get nervous when people stand up on our side. So you have a reservation right now in two places. Can you be in two places at once? It's not possible, right? That's silly. Just as silly as having two reservations. By the way, they x-ray this guy. I, I don't want to show the whole thing because I'm sure this is probably going to get fucked. But um, I think they x-ray him. If, uh, I'm not cor if, if I'm correct here. So I'm, I don't know. If, let me see if I can find a video. They x-ray the guy. Could you fucking imagine? Let me see if I can find a video. Uh, I see some of you condemning a man being a suspect without watching a full video. Yeah, look at this.
X-ray don't lie, man. X-ray don't lie. Don't be twizzled. X-ray don't lie, man. X-ray don't lie, man. Officer Leon, Border Patrol, my fucking lined up beard that I got for the show. Oh, he's sweating, man. He nervous. Look at his stupid smug. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh. We have everything that would be considered information, but this is negative. Oh, I like parents. Usually very uniform shape, you know, lots of them. So I don't see that. Negative for foreign bodies, meaning he doesn't have anything in his system or law interest. And look at his stupid so you're telling me you pulled this guy out look at how much time they've spent on this fucking one guy this this guy that doesn't speak english well that's obviously here probably giving some jeans maybe he bought him over there get nothing illegal and mr smug out here and how many people have gone by probably doing shit that's fucking sneaky and, and actually illegal activities what a oh you piece of shit oh my goodness fuck no hard feelings, man. Don't take it personal. No hard feelings. Don't take it personal. No, I'm not taking it personal. That guy's still a sweetheart. Look at this fucking absolute doll of a guy that's like, I'm not going to take it personal. I'm a Christian. Uh, I'm not taking it personal. I'm a Christian. I'm a friend of God, first and foremost. And above all, what you I fucking pee. Oh, God. Look at that. And I said, I want to go for holidays to that great country. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that this was negative. I'm happy that this was negative. Thank you. You're Enjoy, welcome. All right? Fuck Appreciate you. It. You have that bag. I'll Fuck grab. you. I'll grab the heavy one. I'll grab this one. Grab my bag. How about you lick the side of my dick, Officer Leon? How about you lick the side of my cock? How about you do that, huh? For making, uh, making this guy go through that whole thing. God, what a bunch of, what a waste of a career that is. Where you're out here thinking somehow, no, you know. I know. Officer Leon knows. I hate him. I think I hate him more than anyone on this planet. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the person is a murderer. I don't care. I hate Officer Leon from that Border Patrol show more than anybody else in the fucking planet right now. And how many people are just coming in, just going through? Uh, let's see. He does look like a little bit like him. Oh, RuPaul. Yeah, he does have a little bit of a vibe. So glad he's keeping us safe from ugly clothes. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. This man right here is ensuring that the frontier of the United States is protected from ugly jeans. Watch him uh, walk the other way when a couple of cholos roll up. That's exactly it, right? Wouldn't that be, uh, isn't that wonderful? Uh, they dumped out my carry-on on my way to Magi Fest. She pulled out my boxers and socks in front of everyone and had to pull it back. Uh, you know what they saw on the x-ray? decks of playing cards yeah of course a fucking course because to them they do they're doing something they worked on it they're part of the fucking protection that we have that's homeland defense baby it's them uh piggy police focus i guess i'm focused now uh meanwhile half asia is rolling up your southern border <laughs> yeah right that's what i meant meanwhile just fucking piles of people my favorite guy was that one dude that's like well you wait you wait, he looks like my cousin. That he's like, just you wait. Wait till we do our what we need to do. <laughs> Nobody stop that guy. Fuck. Uh, forget the wall. They closed, uh, cloned these two dickheads that would fix the current border crisis in a week. No, no, for sure not. Because while they focused on that one guy, about 97 other dudes came through. He's still giving him the eyes, right? And say the serious face. I'm glad it was negative, man. How about I'm sorry? How about I'm sorry I put you through this ordeal? Because you had pants that didn't fit you. Really did a good job, fuckers. God, what a fucking waste. Here's another one, by the way. And uh, this girl did what, uh, I hate to use the term slay. She slayed. She fucking slayed. Germany. Why did you go to Germany? I have family in Haida okay. and a cousin in Berlin that okay. I stayed with. How long were you outside of US? 10 days. 10 days? Yeah. Why so much luggage for a 10-day trip to Germany? Because I fucking feel like it? Because maybe I like to change clothes every day? Motherfucker. What's it your, what fucking business is it yours? If I have a lot of luggage. You ran through your little fucking stupid shit. You saw it on the little machine. Because she has to have, if she's there at the immigration part, right? She has to have gone through the screening. So fuck you, motherfucker. Look at and look how she responds. What a fucking absolute dime of a woman. Why so much luggage for a 10-day trip to Germany? Honey, one of those luggages just for my
shoes, you know, flipping I mean, shoes. Sorry. Can you please give me some give respect? Me some respect. You don't no, 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 language. No, no, you understand? Sorry. Deserve yeah, yeah. respect. I said, sorry. One is just my shoes, okay? That takes okay. The shoes take up a lot of room. It's boots, okay? okay? I actually bought this as an extra one. I didn't even have this one. I did a lot of shopping while I was there. I spent like $2,000 in clothes and stuff. Oh, wow. Exactly, right? So what the fuck is your business? If, I, if you're going to a foreign country, you're coming back, you're going to buy shit. So maybe I got some other shit on the way there. You fuck. You fuck. Yeah, and then I spent another $400 at that Atlantic airport getting all this... And it's the worst thing. Look at the, look at the title. American citizens returning from Germany are screened at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. This is a citizen. So imagine... Talk about making you more conservative, right? Talk about the retardation. Why? Why? Are you blocking American citizens from getting into the country? Why are you being so obtrusive on them? What do you think? They got indoctrinated? In Germany? What? Are you retarded? But yet, God knows how many people coming through. So just run right in. Come on in. Go ahead. Let's watch the rest of this video. Rabbit. Oh, Can disrespecting me. Here, please? So they're going to make her scan her shit again. They're going to make her scan her shit again. She already dealt with it. Why do you have men's shoes? There aren't men's shoes. There's a women's pendulum. They're unisex. Mm -hmm. Okay. You just step back. Why do you have men's okay. shoes? And I bet you he thought in his head, oh, ooh, I got her. I got her. She said she bought her clothes. She didn't say she bought clothes for other people. Waste. That's fine. I just want to make sure. God, I want to slap all of these. Ah, oh, I love her. I fucking love this bitch. Look, they're rummaging through all your shit. What are you looking to find? What are you looking to find? Since the traveler declared all of her purchases, she's free to go. And have a nice day. Have a nice day. Go fuck yourself. And then Lord knows you do anything. You do anything. You curse at them, and then now you're on a no-fly list. And yet, about a thousand people are just on a walk list, on a, on a yes walk list. Fuck, that was a terrible joke. About a thousand people are on a yes, go ahead, you could come in <laughs> basis. Oh, God, she's so hot, though. She's not attractive. That's not my, my type, but her attitude is what made her unbelievably hot in that particular case. Uh, let's look to the comments here. Oh... Uh... Uh, fix the wall. I mean, <laughs> uh, piggy, please focus. Uh, what the fuck? There's no snow. Where's the sleigh? I think you're talking about slight. Uh, true says one case is just my cube magic. <laughs> Hungry and hungover says she's a total queen. Could you imagine? You're an American citizen. I got that. I got that coming back from uh, England, right? You come back. I. Uh, what are you doing? The guy asked me, "What am I doing? Like, where am I going? Home. I'm going home. You fuck." When I went to England, hey man, who are you coming to see? A uh, friend of mine. What's your friend's name? Peter. Where's your friend? Where does your friend live? West Yorkshire. What are you gonna do with your friend? We're gonna go around. Where are you gonna go around? We're gonna go around West Yorkshire and the rest of England. Probably Blackpool at some points. You're gonna go to Blackpool? Yeah. Where else are you gonna go? London. What are you gonna do in London? We're gonna go around. What's your friend's name? Peter. Where does he live? West Yorkshire. And then yeah, you get a little bit of attitude. Hey, don't get it. Don't get an attitude with me. Right? But then coming back was also fucking. Where are you going? To my house. Where do you live? Here. What's your address? Here's my passport. It says I'm an American citizen. You fuck it. I'm getting that shit and get, come in, walk in, dude, that says, wait for what we have coming. Just wait. Come on, come on in. We'll give you some money. Uh, we flow down here, says, and to think she had to pay extra for the additional luggage when she brought a ticket. Uh, okay, uh, originally paid more to increase her chance of harassment. True. Uh, border guard coming back from Canada saw a computer I had. He goes, what's that computer? What's it do? It's a computer. It computes. Uh, it does computer things. Hint, don't say that. And they're hiding behind your little no-fly list because you do anything. I, I keep saying the one time on the way back 
It was already a nightmare getting to the airport. The line, their their ineptitude, their fucking stupidity made every single line for every single airport just out the door. Finally, I hear a lady go Miami, right? Oh, oh shit. Oh, Miami? Yeah, I'm going to go there, right? And they get me through. I'm like, God's on my side. The Lord is on my side. I go. They get me through. I'm there. I, I, I finally get through. I managed to sneak my way through there. Uh, finally, there's a, a good 40-minute buffer between uh, the time that I need to get on the plane and uh, uh, when I'm going to go through TSA. All right? Kind of a tight squeeze, to be honest, but I assume I'm going to go through TSA. No. No. Because I get to the line. There's a division. One line says, hey, keep your laptop in your bag. Don't take out your shoes. Another bag says, hey, take your laptop out. Keep your shoes on. And the other one says, don't separate your liquids. Don't take out your liquids, rather. There, so there's inconsistency in both lines. So I'm like, all right. This is obviously as I'm getting through. Finally, when I get to the line, it turns out that both people had left. So there's a new people that are coming in. New fucking whatever, TSA agents or whatever you want to call them. So I don't know the rules of what line rule corresponds to what. So I get my shit. I take out my laptop. And then I take out my bag of liquids. Of course, I get flagged. I get flagged. So I'm there waiting. I'm, I'm looking at my fucking watch. I'm uh, uh, thinking as to what I would do to every person here with my bare hands. And uh, finally, I get this fucking, I don't want to say the derogatory term, but he was an Indian fella, right? And uh, he's there and he goes, oh, uh, so uh, Mr. Whatever, we're going to go look through your stuff. Um, and he goes, oh, here's the problem. Uh, you, you didn't separate your liquids. And I go, oh, uh, that was toothpaste. I'm sorry. I didn't know you qualified that as liquid it was in a separate bag with uh, other shit he goes you know maybe you would if people were to pay attention more uh we wouldn't have to go through this because uh people need to listen and be more attentive and i go well they gave inconsistent rules in every line and then they had a, a shift they had a, a shift change so i didn't know what to listen to nobody told me to take off my shoes nobody told me to do this so i just did it just uh out of what i thought i was supposed to do and he goes you know if more people paid attention then we would get this done smoothly. Like, I don't care what your wife is doing. I don't care what mood you're in. Don't take it out on me. And he goes, oh, sir, that's very disrespectful. Come on, we don't have any. I go, I don't care. I don't care. But you're taking it out on me. I, what the fuck did I do? It's not my fault that you guys have inconsistent rules. It's not me. It was uh, paraphrased, obviously. Um, but I, 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 I zinged him with the line on your wife. I don't care what your wife is doing. When you're home here, when you're here at work, I don't care what you're thinking about, what you ate this morning. Don't take it out on me. And then I got into the plane. I finally got into the plane. And it took, by the way, 30 minutes to get to the fucking TSA. So I made it with 15 minutes uh, spare. So the answer to how much I made on YouTube in the year of 2023, the year of our Lord, is $1,438. $1,438 is how much I made on YouTube. Uh, posting a video, uh, not daily, but uh, three to four times a week. Um, regular live streams, uh, whatever it is you want to quantify, this is how much I made on YouTube. So $1,438. So get my shit. Get my shit. <laughs> Buy my book. <laughs> get my decks. <laughs> Fuck. What a fucking show. Uh, so that's it. That's the live stream. I might be back uh, tomorrow's Friday. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, hungry and hungover. You were closer, I guess. You were close. Uh, but 1400 bucks. it's kind of absurd. Uh, that little for that. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten paid more than 2 k on YouTube. I think the most I've gotten paid on YouTube was probably $2,100. Uh, bucks. Um, so yeah, that's the show. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I think the most important thing to remember is, uh, uh big fucking tits, big fucking tits.